optimistic in the middle of winter or January and they were delving into maritime history collections that the Mississippi Port Museum had. As the story goes, they were on their way back to Williamstown for the next semester and they ended up stopping at Dunkin' Donuts. Students were whining to Ben about uh, wanting to continue and spend an entire semester at Williams Museum. His response was, well, you can't just study history the entire semester. And so what the students did is that they proposed to Ben that they had courses and that they all should be focused on the sea. And so they wrote all those ideas down on a napkin, and that's how Williams Museum began. Since then, the program has evolved to the point where we have 1,700 alumni, and we have an amazing alumni network. We walk across the street to the East Dixie Port Museum, and there are a number of Williams Mystic alumni who were so impacted by their experience here that they have dedicated their entire professional life to working with or on the scene. The head of the history department at Bates College said that this program sounded so well to me and that anything that they had a was bound to be a really high quality, life changing and remarkable experience. And I just barely got in under the wire to be able to be part of the first class in the fall of 1977, and he was so right. It was an incredible way to spend the semester. Students end up studying our coasts and oceans, looking at similar topics and issues through multiple lenses, science, literature, history, policy, and they're realizing how complex problems like climate change commerce and how species migrate around the world in the oceans and the impacts that those kinds of things have on our globe. For me, the most transformative element was that it taught us all to think expansively. They taught us to work in such ways that we've applied these basic concepts of interdisciplinary and experiential learning to our professions. Williams Mystic is a 17-week semester. They arrive and go through a short orientation, then head off to sea. And the purpose of that is to experience life at sea as a sailor, to learn what it means to be a member of a crew, the ships we use are partner institutions. It's just a totally immersive experience where you read about something that's happening in the news related to the oceans, and then you encounter it firsthand on these incredible field trips. And you don't only encounter it, you also have the faculty to guide you through this exploration of contemporary issues, as well as looking at history and literature. As a faculty and staff, we're preparing them to compare the ecosystem here in the Mystic and the Mystic Estuary with the West Coast ecosystem in California, the Pacific Northwest, in Alaska, Southern Louisiana. And students then end up grappling with those heartfelt challenges that our coasts and oceans are presenting to those individuals as a result of climate change land loss, and other issues. After that experience, they bring back what they've learned from their field seminars, and they are applying what they've learned to their work back here in Mystic. The Mystic Seaport Museum is an operating shipyard and museum space that is absolutely gorgeous. If you can picture yourself on board the Charles W. Morgan, the last remaining whale ship, reading Moby Dick, that really is a very different kind of experience than sitting in a study hall and reading Moby Dick. 
And then on top of that, students will be focused on their primary research and science, perhaps looking at microplastics in shorebirds in the morning and collecting data. And then in the afternoon, they're banging on hot metal in the ship's in this Driggs building. And where else can you balance that cognitive experience with physical? Williams Mystic has a consortium of schools that send students to Williams Mystic because they recognize the power and academic rigor of the program. And now for me, in a leadership role at the Sixty Board, I realize how valuable this program is to the museum as well as to the students at the Williams College. I think that the Walter Cronkite Award that Williams Music is receiving is acknowledgement of an amazing idea from an amazing educator, Ben Lavery, who had a vision for what a transformational experience could be. When students are on campus, you can just feel it. something that, that changes lives, that expands their vision and creates friendships and relationships that are lifelong. recording of Steve White. <laughs> I'd like to introduce uh, Thomas Crowley, Chairman and CEO of Crowley Maritime Corporation and a staunch supporter of the maritime industry with a fleet of more than 300 vessels. Consider this consisting of row-row vessels, Lolo vessels, tankers, articulated tug barges, American-built tugboats, American-built tugboats, I like that, heavy lift flat deck barges, all utilizing the best technology available. He received the 2018 Silver Bell Humanitarian Award from the Siemens Church Institute. And uh, Tom, now you get to make the presentation. Well, well I'll, be, I'll be very quick, but just want to say how proud <coughs> Our company's had a relationship with uh, the Williams <laughs> Mystic program uh, for many years now. And uh, the story that our industry has is really tough to tell. Um, I think that um, it's, it's so important for us to have outreach programs like this uh, to introduce our industry um, to, uh, to young people so that they understand it. We don't see it every day. It's, <clears throat> it's not something that's uh, in front of us or something that um, uh, that we, that we, that's easy to experience. And uh, when I was presented with um, the, uh, the story of the school and, and the Williams Mystic program, I thought this would be a wonderful opportunity for us to support students uh, across the country that, that, that have an interest in maritime, want to spend the time and, uh, and really uh, delve into both, not just the history, but uh, the future. And uh, I'm really proud to be a part of that. And, the, the, uh, the alumni group is, uh, as you could see here a moment ago, incredibly strong, yeah. and uh, we're just so proud to uh, have helped um, in any way we can to, to, to tell them the story and show them uh, the experience of, of what maritime means to this country and, and what, what opportunities exist out there for, for each one of them uh, to, to explore and, and, and find in their, in their life ahead. So it's been a real honor to, to experience these kids firsthand. And, uh, and, and, and our company, we, you saw our tugboat up there, uh, we give them a ride around San Francisco Bay or, or uh, Puget Sound up there, and we, and we show them uh, our industry from the other side. And uh, we're really proud to be a part of that. And uh, it's a real honor for me uh, to present this award tonight. So 
I think Tom, Tom Van Winkle and Ben McLarity are going to come accept the award. Good evening, everybody. I'm Steve White, President and CEO of Mystic Seaport Museum. Uh, we'd like to present this uh, Ships of Glass of the Charles W. Morgan, our iconic symbol of the museum, uh, to Ben uh, and to Williams Mystic in honor of all that your dad uh, did for this remarkable program. Thank you so much. Very briefly, because this is a very tightly held schedule, I'm Dukes Love, Provost and Professor of Economics at Williams College. I just wanted to say just how fundamentally important this program has been, both to our students and all who participate, it is an amazing distillation of the liberal arts experience, and incredibly has produced even more devoted alums of the program than we may have even at Williams. Yeah. So thank you. To the 1,700 plus and counting alumni who distinguish themselves around this country as a result of this truly interdisciplinary and remarkable program. You are the leaders today and the leaders of tomorrow. Thanks to Williams Mystic. Thanks to all of you. Well done, everybody. Part of this, uh, I guess, speak? Yeah. Come on up. <laughs> Jim and Rob, come on up. Okay. Right. On behalf of Williams Mystic, we are deeply thankful to the National Maritime Historical Society. Our gratitude extends to so many partners friends, experts over the last 42 years. To the Mystic Seaport Museum and Williams College for stepping into an arena of collaboration few institutions dare to go. To Walter Brown and the Doherty Foundation. To alumni unlike any other. <laughs> to our partners, Tom Crowley and the Crowley Maritime Corporation, Peg Brandon and the C. Education Association, to generations of Williams Mystic faculty and staff, to Williams Mystic Alumni Council members, maritime skills instructors, and field seminar experts. A remarkable it takes a village effort. Williams Mystic was co-created by students and a visionary history professor, Dr. Benjamin Labory on a Dunkin' Donuts napkin, as the video said. An educator who gave up his tenured career and risked everything to create something beautiful. And oh, how beautiful it is and was, and will be. Break the mold educational genius is often deceptively simple, Read Ben's description of Williams Mystic on the page in the brochure, second page, top of it. 
Hidden in those words is genius that was relevant in 1977 and cutting edge in 2019. With your support, we will continue to transform worldviews and inspire future leaders like you. My fellow shipmates, I've asked two additional people to share this message, and I now invite Dr. James T. Carlton, Director Emeritus, an internationally renowned marine ecologist to the podium and also a good friend. Thank you, Tom, and, and thanks to the National Maritime Historical Society. Since 1977, the Williams Mystic Program has successfully strived to fill one of the great gaps in American education the importance of the world's oceans to the past, present, and future of human history and human endeavor. Through a sophisticated interdisciplinary curriculum that has sought to seek the threads that bind across the humanities and sciences, our core mission has remained the same. Even as we have grown, enhanced, and adapted, we seek to create citizens who will be profound stewards of the oceans. As educators, as scholars, as museum professionals, or simply as the best educated voters <laughs> walking with and teaching their children along ocean shores. We live in an era of changing oceans. Our seas are warming and the sea is rising. And these changes impact billions of people who depend upon the oceans for their food and their livelihood. Changes in the sea, the sea that connects all things, touch all of humanity, as our nearly 2,000 students have learned, and we hope have learned well. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you our fall 1981 alumnus, international business leader, and my friend, Robert Leary. Thank you, Jim. Uh, it's an honor to be here and be part of accepting this award on behalf of the Williams Mystic Program. I was a student at Williams Mystic in the fall of 1981, and the program changed my life. In no small part, that was because of Ben Lavery. He brought out the best of me, and he brought out the best in others. He was a visionary and a great leader. Not in a loud or a boastful way, but in a quiet and determined way. He set high standards and he lived by them. Great leaders have a vision, a strategy, and a way to execute on it. Ben conceived of the program. He was integral in constructing it, in implementing it, and in operating it. He turned his vision into a reality. Great leaders bring others along and bring out the best in them. Ben, ben brought others along and put the program in place. He adopted it and made it, he adapted it, he made it better. He brought out the best in students and staff, all very different people that needed his attention and his guidance to fulfill their potential. Ben was a great teacher. Great leaders execute and they get results. Ben's program has been a huge success with now over 1,700 graduates scattered around the world. His legacy deepened their love of American maritime history, literature, marine policy, and the marine sciences. Many graduates have gone on to take leadership roles in maritime or marine science organizations, but even for those who haven't, they have been, had a, an indelible mark left on them that connects them to the sea and to America's maritime history. Great leaders find great successors and leave their organizations in a better place. Ben was no exception. He found in Jim Carlton a great leader. And despite the fact that Jim is not a marine, historian or maritime historian, he's a marine scientist. Nonetheless, he still did a great job as that next leader <laughs> and admire him for his contributions to the program. Later in my life, I was honored to join the Williams Mystic Alumni Council, the Mystic Seaport Museum Board, and we brought along several other Williams Mystic alumni into that family and became very involved and forged a great relationship with Williams College as well. This has been a chance for me and for all of us to give back to all of those organizations. And I want to thank Mystic Seaport Museum and Williams College in particular for their support. I'm grateful to each and every one of you. 
But most of all, I want to thank Ben. I want to thank him for his vision, for his leadership, for his belief in me, and for all of the people that have done the programs. I've told close friends that I would walk across the world on my hands and knees to help Ben. So tonight, Ben, I know you're watching. I want to tell you I thank you, I love you, and I want to let you know how grateful I and many others are for all that you've done. Thank you.